All right, everybody. So this video is going to be the first video of a new series. So quickly, a little background information. I've been going to ADI for three years in a row, and on my third year, which happened just a while ago, um, I met two nice uh, gentlemen at ADI, and uh, one of them has seen me there for a few years in a row. And one of the things they said to me is, wow, we're going to send this person a panel. <laughs> And they did. <laughs> it was very, very nice of them. I want to thank you, thank you to them so much for doing this because it was really awesome. And you're probably wondering what the panel was. And it is a Fireworks FX 64R addressable intelligent fire alarm control panel. This is my first addressable panel. And this is really cool because addressable is like the future. It's actually now required in my state to have addressable fire alarm control panels. And if you don't know the difference between conventional and addressable, I will tell you in a later video, because this is a series now. So in this series, I'm just going to give a quick overview of the system and do one quick test. And then um, I'll go more in depth um, through each video in the series. So here we go. So when you first open up the panel, this is what you see. Uh, there's your LCD screen. I know it says Kitty up there. I think Kitty, EST, and Fireworks kind of did a team up. And they have these panels. Um, so right here you have your lights that will turn on for certain events. Like if there's an alarm, the alarm light will turn on. If there's a trouble, the trouble light will turn on. And then you have just all your other lights like ground fault, test, disable, and service detector. And those will all turn on, will all turn on for different events. Going down, you have some buttons. You have the reset button. You have an acknowledge button. You have a lamp test button. Um, this button right here, it disables the dialer. So if you ever wanted to run tests, then you would just push that button and it wouldn't call the fire department. And then right here is your silence button. These two buttons you can program to do certain things, and I do have them programmed. Going down here, we have um, so your numbers and letter buttons. And you use these for programming. Right here, you have your arrows for scrolling around. And then right that this is your home button. All right, so now we're going to dig a little deeper and see the wiring. So to pull off this black cover, all you got, got to do is just kind of pull down and then pull out. So there it is. And all this does is just protect the circuitry. And once this gets pulled out, um, right here is your SLC card. Um, this is used for hooking up things like pull stations and smoke detectors. Right there you have two NACs built into the panel. And this is used for hooking up um, things like your horn strobes and uh, horns and all. Down here are the terminals for hooking up an enunciator, battery, um, power for the panel. And then right here are some various... Uh, relays and stuff that you can use. And that's kind of the inside of the panel. All right, so since this is an addressable panel, it can only use certain addressable devices, right? So they also sent me everything I would need to wire it up. Right here we have a FX-IDC2B addressable module, and this is needed to um, wire everything up. Coming over, we have a uh, FX-DP smoke detector. It's photoelectric and it's really sensitive actually. And uh, yeah, there's your smoke detector. Coming over here we have an addressable pull station. It's an FX-278 pull station, basi basically an Edward Siga. And it's got the key on it. And then coming down here, um, this is actually a special device of EST that I requested. It's a G for LFWF-HVM low frequency sounder fire alarm horn strobe. So this is kind of a interesting alarm. It plays a different pitch and it's supposed to uh, help people wake up faster. So today I'm just going to be giving a quick demonstration and then as you'll see more videos I'll go a little deeper into how the panel and how it all works and its features and stuff. So for the demonstration today, though, we'll just be activating the pull station. Ready? In three, two, one. And 
one thing I like is by pushing the silence button, it doesn't deactivate the piezo on the panel. So, yep. All right, now let's reset this pull station. You can see right there, it says alarm, front entrance. It, it's not at the front entrance or anything, but again, it's for demonstration purposes. So let's go ahead and acknowledge the panel, and that turns off the piezo. And then now let's reset the panel. And uh, resetting the panel just basically clears everything. And since it's an addressable panel, it'll take a while to reset. But anyways, while it's resetting, I just want to give another huge thank you to the guys at EST for sending uh, this to me. I know they didn't have to or anything like that. Um, it was just really, really, really nice of them. And I'm not going to give out their names um, for their own privacy because I don't want them getting 10 emails um, of other people asking for panels. But thank you again so much for that. It really means a lot to me. I've never had an addressable system before, so yeah. Well, anyways, guys, that was the video. Um, this is one out of many parts to this series I'm going to be making. And yeah, so thank you for watching this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.